YouTube channel. Um, I thought since it's Halloween that I would try the ghost pour. I've seen it um, around. It seems to be very popular right now. So I thought, why not give it a try at Halloween time? So I'm going to do, because I really like bold um, negative space, bold colors for negative space. So I've got some Cranacridone. I think it is. Yeah, Cranacridone Magenta. And then I have just a like an off-white color. Um, this kind of peachy color. And then um, a really pretty rose gold. And this is just folk art um, brushed metal um, brushed rose gold. And it's just really pretty. So kind of a bright bold color and then um, neutral-ish uh, colors. Definitely colors on the more neutral side. So um, I'm just going to cover my canvas in this Cranacridone rose and basically if you haven't seen um, a ghost swipe which they seem to be all over right at the moment but if you haven't seen one they're basically like a ribbon swipe um, that you just um, swipe sort of both ways um, a lot of them are like in the middle of a long canvas um, that you swipe both ways from it and then um, like I guess the goal is to have spaces um, between the swipes so it almost looks like uh, like ghosts, ghost shapes, uh, kind of things. Not spooky, like ghosts are on the canvas, but that just, that kind of, um, shape for lack of a better term. Okay. All right. So I pulled this out the other day, uh, when I was cleaning it here, I haven't had this out in a long time. And I thought, you know, this is really nice for swiping, um, or spreading paint or swiping. I'm not going to use it as my swipe tool, but I am going to use it to kind of spread my paint around the canvas. Nice, easy, quick way to do this. Okay, so I've got to get the edges, but I'll do that. Um, I'll do that when I'm done. Um, I just got the top. The edges will will need covered um, when I'm done. But I, like I said, I can do that um, after I'm done painting. But so I don't want to do it quite in the middle since this is a square canvas. I'm kind of gonna do it uh, down here. I thought about doing it diagonal, um, but I don't think I want to do that. So I'm going to do. I think I'm gonna do the rose gold right in the middle. Oh, maybe that was a little lower than I wanted to go. That's all right. Maybe I'll go up, make that my edge color instead of my middle color. That's fine. Now you could put these colors right on top of each other. I do that when I do, sorry, I'm gonna stir this. I do that when I do a, um, oop, there's a goober in there. I do that when I do a ribbon swipe. I just put them right on top of each other um, instead of side by side. But I think I'm going to do this side by side. I love this peach color. This peach color is really pretty with um, purple, the really dark purple. Now 
one. This is going to be my middle color, so I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. It wasn't that thick, maybe. I think there was a glob of Floetrol in there. All right, and then we're going to go back in with this. Now, this may be a little bit thicker of a line than some ghost um, glow pores, but I'm good with that. Like I said, if I did it more like a ribbon swipe with the colors on top of each other, it would be a really narrow band. Like, you know, like almost like the size of the first color, only a little more, a little wider. And what I have here for my swiper is just a backing from this. I had these left over from last year. Um, so I use these sometimes for swiping tools. I do take the stickers off because I found with the stickers on it, it sits really heavy on the paint. So it doesn't, it sinks down more than I want it to. Um, and then I just kind of shredded the edges so that it wasn't just a flat square. Now my paints are all mixed with Floetrol and I have silicone in the colors I poured on top of the red, so, or the Cronacridone. The magenta I do not have silicone in, the other colors I do. Um, so I'm just going to go from the middle and start swiping. And then I'm going to wipe this little thing on my uh, puppy pee pad here. And see how there's some gaps there, kind of the ghost um, look to have. Whoops, I pressed a little too hard. You can tell. That's all right. I think there's enough paint on the canvas that it's going to um, cover right up. And if not, I can fix it. I see there's plenty of paint. Get some really pretty cells with this. I went all the way to the edge with that one because I kind of like... I like going all the way to the edge. I know that's not technically a ghost fight doing that, but it's my painting, so I can do what I want. Right? Right. <coughs> I love these cells that are popping up. They're really pretty. There we go. I love this uh, off-white. This is butter. Um, Americana butter. It's really pretty. One more. Okay, so I don't have as many gaps maybe as some people do with the ghost swipe, but oh, I'm good with that. I like the um, little bit more of a coverage. Now we'll see what happens here since we have to go further. I'm guessing it'll disappear before I get to the edge of the canvas, but let's see. This is going to be a little bit harder. I'm not real great at swiping away from myself. We just watched Signs, my house. I don't know if you've seen that. There's a part where he says, swing away, Merle. Merle, I guess. I was thinking about that when I said swipe away. We haven't done the chocolate game in a while. My channel, we used to do the chocolate game, where if I mention a TV show or a movie, um, you get to have a piece of chocolate or whatever sweet thing makes you happy. Well, look at the cells on this side. Really pretty. I like using this um, kind of, I've, I've done this before. This is the first time I've like rounded it, ripped it off to round it. I really like, uh, it's not quite as harsh of a edge. So you don't get just a flat square edge. I kind of like that. Okay. How pretty is this magenta? And if you follow my channel, if you've commented or something, um, and I haven't gotten back with you, I apologize. Um, I am going to catch up with comments. October, if you've noticed, I haven't done a lot of videos, has been crazy. We started back up at school. We homeschool. And we take September off. And goodness gracious, October has just flown by. It seems like we've had something out of the house every single day. I was joking with one of the moms that it seems like my daughter is um, socializing so much. She's not... <laughs> There's no time left for school. I mean, not really. Most of her school activities, most of her out of house activities have to do with school, but it seems like we've been out of the house at least three times a week. And 
other things aren't getting done. That's kind of cool. I went a little bit further in where that had already been spread um, out. So the pink kind of came through. That's kind of neat. Looks a little bit different right there. That's kind of neat. I like that. I was going to torch this, I thought, but I really like the cells. Um, I'm not even going to mess here because I was thinking, well, that's really a wide band of that um, off-white color, but I think I like it. So I'm not going to torch it. I'm not going to do anything, um, which means I guess I'm done. I like to fiddle with my painting when it's when I'm sort of done, but I don't think I need it. Let's do some close-ups. Okay, there it is. A little closer, but from up above. Love these cells. There's that, there's not a ton of that rose gold coming through, but it's going to be really pretty, especially once it's varnished, have um, some of that metallic coming through. I do need to fix that spot right there where the canvas is showing, but I will do that and I'll fix the edges, but not on camera. You guys don't need to see me touching up edges. There you go, my very first ghost swipe. What do you guys think of the ghost swipes? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it um, and what you think of the magenta as the negative space. Um, so we will see you next time, guys. Happy boring.